All right, it is today Georgia fans or Georgia basketball fans have waited for um, since the day the schedule was released. Today is today. It's Georgia. It's Miami. It's in the Bahama Mar Bahamas Championship at 3.30 on CBS Sports. We'll run down everything you need to know about the game real quick. Um, first off, I want to say that, you know, man, Georgia's going to have to play a perfect game to win today. Um Unfortunately for Georgia, we are not. This was one of the matchups. I'm excited for it, but don't get I'm I'm excited for it, and, and that's not uh. That's not what I mean, but um. This definitely was a matchup Georgia probably didn't need. Um. Miami's coming off a Final Four appearance. Miami. May be the best team in the state of Florida. This is just a pessimistic side in me. Um, this is either going to go really good or this is going to go really bad. And what I mean by that is either Georgia is going to come out and fight wire to wire to the end of the game. Or the game is going to be over at halftime. And with the way Georgia played against Oregon, the first half of the Oregon game. If that is, if that happens today, Georgia's. I mean, it's going to be ninety to to thirty at halftime. And I'm just exaggerating there, but it's going to be bad. But um, you know, if Georgia can put out, they did look, man. Wake Forest. If Georgia can beat Wake Forest and nearly come back against Oregon, North Carolina State Central game was a disaster. If Georgia won, but offensively, it was a disaster. Um. Georgia can win this game, and you know, man, my like I just said, Miami's coming off a Final Four appearance. It, this is going to be a hard game for Georgia to win. History-wise, though, this is the this will be the fourth time they have ever played. They have played three previous times. Georgia is two and one versus the Miami Hurricanes. They played in 1985, uh, November 30th, 1985. That game was a loss. That was in Miami. The final score of that game was 81 to 78. They would play again in 1990, 1991. That game was in Miami. Georgia won 78 to 60. And then last but not least, 1992-93, they played in Athens, and Georgia won 96 to 97. So. They've played before, and it hasn't been much, but they have played before. Um, and, you know, like I said, Miami is coming off a Final Four team. Um, all five of Miami's starters are, are averaging double digits, I believe, is what I read on um, on uh, ESPN. Um This is like one of the first power. This is there's they're gonna have a stretch of where they play power five teams too. I mean, um, I'm reading it right here. They're gonna play Georgia, UCF, Georgia, Kentucky, Notre Dame, and UVM. Just free schools to play power conference in six games, joining Georgia and Florida. Yeah, folks. I mean, Georgia's schedule is is brutal. I mean, Georgia is the only power conference team. They're gonna open with bat to bat power that open with bat to bat power matchups that will play a power opponent four of its first five games via GeorgiaDogs.com. That's I did not make that up. That is coming from GeorgiaDogs.com. Um Georgia fell to Oregon and then beat Wake Forest. So there's been free games since it's hard to believe that Oregon game was last week. I mean, it's November. 17th, November 6th was last Monday. And I've, it's just hard to believe that, that it's already passed by like that. I'm still, I'm still, it's hard to believe that Wake Forest, uh, that Oregon game was was last week. But, yes, it is. And a lot's changed since then. The way Georgia played against Oregon, you thought, well, here we go against Wake Forest. Are we going to get beat by them again? And then Georgia's a completely different team against Wake Forest. I mean, that arguably could have been the best game Georgia has played in a long time. I always tell people when I ask, what's the best basketball Georgia's played in a few years? It was the, it was the first half of the St. Joe's game last year in the um, in the um, 
Sunshine Slam. I mean, that arguably was the best basketball Georgia's played in years. Probably, I don't want to, the Anthony Edwards year was amazing. I don't want to, probably since 2018. And it's 2023, well, it was 2022 last year, but you get my point. So how will Georgia beat Miami today? I'm going to keep this short and sweet. There is... There is a certain feel when a, a team like Georgia in basketball plays a team like Miami, a, a national team, a team that just made the Final Four, and that is you're the underdog. Um, we love underdog stories, like right. So my so my underdog story will be, let's go in here, let's go to the Bahamas, and let's win both these games against Miami and Providence or Kansas State or whoever it may be Sunday. Because there's no doubt in my mind this team could do it. And here's why. Georgia has Jabri Atorahim. Just Georgia has Noah Thomason. Georgia has Jalen DeLoach. Georgia has Salias Damari Jr. I mean, Georgia is very talented this year. Here's what I was about to say. This is what makes me love these players and team even more. They are just so unselfish, man. They, we're only three games in, and they are just so unselfish. They love to share the ball around. They love to do everything. I'd put this Georgia core, I'd put this Georgia team versus the best team in, in college basketball, which one of the best teams is Miami. I mean, and you're absolutely going to see that tonight. Um, I would put this Georgia core above anybody else in college basketball. I mean, just not the guys I mentioned. I mean, you got Blue Kane. You got uh, M.A. Moncrief. You got Justin Hill. You got all of these wonderful – Jabri Rahim. I mean, I, I, I believe I named him to begin with. But you get where I'm going with this. This is absolutely just one of the most talented teams in college basketball, man. And – Look, this is either going to go, this game, like I said at the beginning, it's going to go two ways. This is going to go, this is going to be, be good, or this is going to be a game where George is out of it by halftime. But, um, I look at, I look at this and I see, well, this perhaps is a chance for George to, to make themselves a, a national on a national level. Because let's be real here. Georgia basketball will never be on a national level like Georgia's football team is. And that's a shame because we've had some great teams over the years. No, we had great teams the last few years. No. But people talk about not going to games to, because they're losing. And my thing is the football team lost in the 90s and people went to those games. So what's the difference? That's all I'll say about that, but we could make our name known today. And and it's exactly what this team needs is to come on and is to have a national standpoint team or national standpoint to play a team on a national standpoint. And just win, man. That's all we got to do. We just got to win. And look, man, if if we do that, I mean, we're going to be, we could beat the number, I don't know what rank they are, but we could beat the Miami team that made the Final Four last year. What rank are they? They were like 11 or 12, I think. 11th. We could beat Miami. We just got to do the things right. We have to shoot the ball right. We have to rebound right. We have to, you know, no turnovers, right? I mean, it gets way for us. They only had like four turnovers in the uh, in the first half or maybe even the entire game, if I remember right. I don't remember. Um, but point regardless, you know what I'm saying, right? We have to do the things right that my – we have – I'm not saying what, man. There's been teams to win games that weren't better. 
that weren't as good as the other teams, and that's the underdog. That's the underdog mentality. It's we know we're doubted. We're going to come in here and win this game. Georgia is surprisingly only six and a half point underdogs. Um, I kind of really thought it would be more than that considering they just made the Final Four. But, man, Georgia needs to take this mess, and we got to run with it, dude. I mean, we're going to have to do everything in our power to beat Miami today, and Georgia will beat Miami at around – 5.30 or 6 o'clock, we'll be having a conversation about the University of Georgia men's basketball team upsetting the Miami Hurricanes. And if not, at least giving them a good fight. That'll do it for me. Georgia and Miami, 3.30, CBS Sports Network. You can listen to you can listen to Georgia game on the radio, 7.50 a.m. WSB, the official flagship station of the Georgia Bulldogs. Scott Howard will not be there because they're in Knoxville. A old Learfield friend comes along. Um, Cabell Philpot, if you remember from many years, he was Georgia's studio guy, studio host. Excuse me. He was Georgia's studio host with um, Learfield or with the University of Georgia Radio Network. And uh, so the, the crew today will be Cabell Philpot, Chuck Daddle, Luton, and Cardi. I don't believe who their uh, producer will be. That's the only problem I hate about GeorgiaDogs.com. They never update their list, which is phony. That's crap. Update your update your game notes. Just don't be copy and pasting things. But um Yep. Um that's pretty much it. Georgia soccer team plays today versus Iowa in the second round of the uh SEC, of the SEC tournament. Of the national tournament. That will be take place at Clemson. They will play that game at two o'clock. And Georgia's hockey team starts their last road trip of the year against in uh, Knoxville against um, against Tennessee. So But yeah, that's about it, man. Georgia and Miami, three thirty. Hopefully the dogs could man, it would be wonderful to pull this game out. I believe Georgia could do it. Um, that's all I gotta say. Let's, let's go hoot dogs. Let's beat Miami.